So yeah, that was a bit hectic. <laughs> Running over, trying to stop and getting through the gate, it was kind of fun. Bactria. It's under siege, but we don't mind. Just another... Another easy way to destroy half their army. Right. I'm gonna move to here. Oh, this is all the same territory, that's kind of good. Is this the last? The last Avatrosa army? <laughs> He's got nowhere to go. He's just gonna fizzle out. In fact, he's on a uh, forced march, which means I can just wipe him out, really. Sweet. This is my new highest rank missile army. See, this is why I got this perk, because even though the defences piss me off, the later things are quite good. Missile attack range, def melee defence and armour. Let's have a quick look at this. So yeah, I'm going to get... Missile damage is good. But I'm all about attack range and melee defence, I think. Warden of the North. You're going to catch up with us, aren't you? Plus, at this point, this army probably can't even actually take this town. And I'm in more danger of the north. No, because the north, they can't take the town anyway. They have to besiege it, and that takes X amount of turns. So, force march all the way up. And I don't want this little army raiding raiding over here and causing nuisances but it's being a nuisance right now making me chase after it okay pow wow got some big armies sitting over here that aren't even doing anything so I think that this one can probably even push do I want to push this way or south? I'm not actually sure. I think I will attack that. And then maybe I will just go this way. Force march up here. Next turn. I'm gonna take that. And uh, this army over here. Force march into here. The cities I don't need to defend so much. Uh yeah. That's that's all of it. The only thing left to do is to recruit more men over here. Might as well get the archers since we're in this province. Can only afford three, that's fine. I've got a spy here, but uh, it's not my belief that I need to necessarily poison this army. I don't know actually, it's uh, my garrison isn't that, that big and it might help speed it along, speed things along, to disable that. Right. Does so much damage. Spies OP. End of my turn. So yeah, this is why we poison that arm, because the garrison is in quite a sorry state, but still. So into the battle they've got some battering rams, which always makes things slightly more interesting, especially when combined with elephants. The elephants are only 9 units, half strength, so it's going to make things easy. Just moving this pike unit in front of uh, the gate. 
It's being knocked down. Be destroyed. So gates are destroyed. Ah, oh, these on free fire. That's not good. Let's come bring them up. I don't know whether they're gonna use the ladders now or not. We await your orders. Put this guy here for now. Oh yeah, because I've got units down nearby, this means the sling unit might uh, Sling. Which would be bad for me. Seems to be getting into melee, that's good. Let's put, them, put the slingers up. Our general is under attack. Yeah, this is gonna go fine. It's frightened apparently. Let's bring the general over just in case. The enemy general is so dead. got this pike unit here. Can you like kill that slinger unit? Heroic victory, only 23 losses. So back into the fight. This guy hired a load of mercs. And he could maybe take Merv. But not if I hired an elephant. Especially with his attrition that he's taking. But not that guy. I thought all of these were elephants. Not that guy either. This is the man for the job. It's just a matter of moving up and taking back our territory right now, I think. Again, I'm gonna move to here. And go to raid stance because I can't reach. They're, meanwhile, they're raiding me. I don't think this army can get all the way over here. Ready for no, it can actually, and like, you know, it could do that. It would be really depleted, and I could just hire another elephant because I'd I'd get enough warning. So let's bring this army up to here, and actually, we can recruit. Our first blister, but only one apparently. Pretty poor right now. Could do with less armies, I guess. This is a full army here. Let's uh, get ready to take that town back. Well, I've got two full armies to take back these towns, and those towns probably have no garrison. So, I mean, like, I might actually just disband a bunch of units soon because, uh, well, especially in the south, I don't have more units than I need. In the north, uh, this is actually not looking brilliant because <laughs> how's he going to move past me if I stand here? I guess I'll just raid next turn. But it means I don't have to use my spy, so my spy can move north and uh, chip down that army next turn. Let's get some XP. 
Free XP is free XP. This spy can go have a little look around. Okay, there's nothing. There's no. You know, it's just going to be auto resolve battles. And this guy. Yeah, it's given public order. And this town actually doesn't have the garrison yet. Like it's one turn away. So I'm actually gonna. I'm glad I spotted that because that could have been kind of nasty. I'm actually gonna recruit a new army with this guy. Because I was looking at the traditions and I was thinking it would be cool to have an army that just does public order, you know, more specialised, because right now I've got these spare high rank armies that I don't even need. So let's enter. And now I'm kind of glad I spotted that. I'm not entirely sure, so I got this general here, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to play out because uh, I've got half a pike and one good guy but then their army is like not really very good however if they burn down the gate quickly and sent in that elephant and all these cav they might overwhelm me, let's see how this goes so into the battle, definitely not as familiar with this map it's kind of weird But I assume they're going to run down here, so I put my pike here. It's not a very big pike unit right now. I'm not going to try and move it. I'll just plug this gap for now anyway. Got Jabkav as um, garrison there. So yeah, sped it up a little bit and seems like they're running into the pike nicely keep an eye on that pike unit there, it's got 46 men if they don't come down here I might need to reinforce it still on 46 Our general is under attack. and they're coming down here now as well is that an archer? yeah that's an archer which means you can shoot over the walls but yeah that's the infantry done and I doubt they will be taking burning down any gates now. This tower is just going to kill the archer unit. And then I can put my archers, I can even dismount these guys. Put them up on the walls to chuck down at the uh, guys. Just top them out. Okay, now they come. Let's burn down the gate. So let's stop them in their tracks. First with my jab cap. They don't have a lot of ammo. But they are kind of deadly. They're also good at making elephants go berserk. Not that I need to, but that'd be fun. To make the elephant kill their own units. But I've rarely seen... I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen the, the enemy elephants go berserk. Or maybe it's just because you can't tell. Right now, they are outranging my trap cap. So let's put up the archers. They're actually getting some, some damage done to my gate.
The battle is turning in our favor. Just in case. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, Jab Cubs are out of ammo. Put one on the mounts. They're not gonna get in, are they? Come on. And the wavering. But not quite done. Enemy general died, but still, this one of our units unit is, used is all its not ammunition. giving up. Right, I'm just gonna send this here. Hurry this up. What are you gonna do now? I'm poking your face with my spears. Keep frying torches. Three brave souls lost their lives. Hurrah! Arachosia are finally completely dead. Unless one of these. Which town is it? This town or this town? Rebel. So let's let's start at the top because I'm feeling a little bit wor a little bit anxious. I should have uh, shit yeah fuck. I sh what I should have done is recruit that general with the plus siege holdout time. And I'd rather poison that army, but I can't reach, so let's poison this. And if it's really badly poisoned, then what we might be able to do. Is this? And actually, it's saying we're gonna win. <laughs> I don't think we would win that, personally. But we'll see what we're like. If I lose it badly, though, I run the risk of then losing the town. It's got no garrison. First things first. Let's just auto resolve this nonsense over here. Right, I think I'm gonna have a go at this. Even though I don't have to. Like, this army's not reinforcing this time. So, if I can clear it out, that'd be really good. Uh, what? What's going on right now? Let's take it to the battlefield. Fighting horse archers though. It's never very fun. And they've got a blister as well. I think I'm probably going to lose this. don't know. Not sure. I'm not sure. I'm going to see if they will come and fight me in the corner. For the map, but not with my cavalry. Not with cavalry. Cavalry is going to be hiding in these trees. And the rest can go in this corner. And we'll just we'll just see if they're going to run up the hill or attack. Hopefully they'll attack because uh, I'm, you know, so many horse archers. Plus it's two slingers. When it comes to the sheer ammo and skirmishing power, I'm gonna lose this, lose this battle. Uh, and I need to like manually aim my slings, probably, <laughs> which means no times four speed. Uh, let's. I don't know. Yeah, let's. Fight. They also have a blister, which hopefully I can take out. I'm just also thinking about uh, sort of very, very thin lines until we know that that's dead. And don't really want to take this off skirmish. I want to get the most 
cost effective um, ranged exchanges, which is why we are in the corner. Because they can't come from around the back or anything like that. I'm probably going to have to wait until they move their units away from the blister to charge with my cavalry, which means I'm going to take some bombardments. I also want to move my mob forward in the hope that they will waste ammo on the mob. Right, I think that's 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 good. I mean, try and shoot your blister against that. You're not going to get too many kills. Let's hope these units stay hidden, but I'm not sure they will. Some units have better spotting than others. I've got a pretty bad feeling about this noble horse archer spotting my unit. We're gonna move them. Our hidden units have been discovered. Yeah, okay. They're not making a move though. Yeah, I'm now making a move. But I'm gonna chase what we got here. Oh, I've caught some in melee. That's pretty good. What's going on over here? Citizen cavalry. Cavalry is just instantly shredded. The men are wavering. Oh look, got another melee engagement though. That's good. Every range unit we kill uh, means my slingers have a better chance of taking this fight. Don't really want to be fighting the young axes though. As much as I like being in melee. Oh, they're just getting melted. Utterly melted. Okay. I said I wouldn't play in times four, and what am I doing? Playing in times four. I can bring all this back in a bit because uh, the blister is no more. So I want to tighten this up. Scare. If I scare cavalry away, that means less less of them are shooting at me at the same time. Focus units down. Start start using the uh, pikes. Uh, two. Could you kill this unit? Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Disbanding. Okay. Break the lines. Marching order. Levy pikemen. Spearmen. It's going good. This is the right tactic. This is how you do it. Scare units away. Bring the slings closer, it means they uh, more 
more accurate. Dead now. Orders understood. Our men flee the field of battle. It's all down to the slings. And when the general dies. Oh no. No. Charge, charge me. Let's get them away. Tight. <laughs> this is really tight. And now I'm like, even when I win the battle, I'm gonna have no garrison to fight the next battle with. What are you doing? Oh no. That's fine, disbanded. Right, two, fight like that. Our men flee the field of battle. We've this got this. <laughs> but at what cost? At what cost? Oh no, look, there's more units. The general. No, I thought I had it. Come on, I'm gonna run out of ammo, aren't I? The battle is turning in our favour. You say that, but I'm about to run out of ammo. One Literally. of our units has used all its ammunition. Keep the general alive. Oh no, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I can try and box him in like a fucking. Using. Come on, Pike unit. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, that was the closest battle ever. <laughs> I've got like 13 men left or something. Oh, that was crazy. That was a crazy fight. So, what I'm thinking is I need to hire a general here for a start. <laughs> and. I'm thinking I shouldn't have done that battle. <laughs> I would have been better off doing a defensive battle against... Uh, it was about to... I don't know, I had like one turn till I gave up or something. I'm thinking, oh dear. I'm thinking, oh dear. This guy's miles away as well. So... I can recruit a general that increases hold up time, but if they actually just fight, I'm not going to have very much other than the tower to to defend. Oh, I'm at max armies. Okay, I need to. I need. I need a general here, like for sure, for definite. So let's just make our moves in the south, and then we will get back to that in the north. I need money as well, because if I can hire some mercs, then that's going to be a big deal. Which means I might actually raise my own town. Because I need the money. <laughs> I have no money. And I need the money. Probably should have raised that that town rather than this one, but uh, whatever. Um, Hercules has nothing on me. Whoa. 
What am I? I've lost a champion. What happened to him? He's dead. Full on deceased. That sucks. Doesn't say anything. Uh, logistics. So I'm probably going to need to disband. I've got so many units. But I'm loath to. I'm reluctant to disband them. I probably should. Right, this guy, what's he doing? He's buffing public order over here. Okay, that's fine. So this guy was here to stop that tiny Arachosia last army from taking the town. So was this guy. Yeah, actually, this guy did his job. Because now this is built, so I have a good garrison. So that's safe. This town is no longer safe, however... My game crashed again, so I was just moving this army here when I left off. It had recruited a ballista. That's this town is defendable. This one is not. It's just to stop us from losing that town. And I'd raised this town to get some money so that I could buy all of this. Uh, mercenaries over here, and because I've disbanded armies, I can now pick one of these three lovely men to defend a new town. What mercenaries are available? Horse archers, Bactrian hillmen. So the Let's have a look at generals quickly as well. We've got uh, a horse from another faction, a uh, horse archer from another faction, and an elephant from another faction. That's interesting. Didn't think I even had. Did I get that right? No, this guy, this elephant dude is uh, my faction. I don't think an elephant is really the man for the job. So I think, even though I'd like to spend my money on mercs, I'm thinking about hiring uh, a new guy. Uh, how much do these marks cost? Should still be able to buy a few. I just want a few hillmen. Just to plug gaps, really. So, let's have a look. This guy, other nobles, other nobles. I'm going to hire this guy. I will lose influence of my own. But I think it's worth it long term if you level them up. Right now I've got a lot of guys who I'm not leveling up. So actually, yeah, it's just for one battle. Let's just get this guy. He seems alright. And we're going to grab this with this. He's going to sit in here. And we're going to hire three mercs. And we are going to defend that town. And then over here, I'm going to get that, I guess. I'm going to get logistics. Where is this guy? Beodotus. Uh, if only I'd replaced him earlier. Ready 
Cost me more money, but just want to get that done. Commander. Starting to think maybe I should have gone for the minus upkeep. Got so many armies now. I'm very, very poor. Which makes many. This province actually makes a fair amount of money. And now that I've lost my dude who gave. who had a nice stacking effect with this, now it only gives four public orders, so I'm going to cancel that. And I'm going to get plus 15% tax rate on this, which should go up some 1300 now. We'll check that next turn. Should be. Pretty good next time. Tax rate is already alright. But it'll go down a bit because of the negative. Um, and then we could actually make a little economic thing over here. And I actually wanted to get rid of the farm here, so raising that was actually quite a good move. Uh, oh, I don't, don't know about that. They converted my building. I'll have to convert it back next turn. But for now, oh, look at this known factions for. Oh, that's nice. Sargacious on its last legs. Um, once that's conquered, it's just it's just me and you, Parthia, and your. Ah, so is all the way over here. Took out Egypt. But Parf is Parf is ginormous. <laughs> is there a better way for me to see it? Uh, I have to have it explored. Parf is big. Right. Oh, I'm going to get my technology. Yes, that's going to save me some money as well because I'll keep like 4%, minus 4% on all my armies. That's quite a lot. That's really good. And the ammo is going to be really nice. Okay, back to my turn. This town is under siege, which we kind of expected. And we didn't have the guy available with the plus siege. Uh, power that time, so it's got one turn. We hunger for battle. Which means uh, I may very well lose that town, but then I can. Ready for it's probably going to surrender. I mean, I can uh, try and switch it. This Dolan guy, though, it's not from my faction, so I don't care Ready too much. As long as I can retake it, I'm fine with whatever happens over here. I'm not I'm not pleased that I can't even afford to poison it though. Ugh. I need money. Did my cunning plan work? Yeah, attack rate's gone up. Gonna start having to check these to see uh, where I'm losing public order. Right now, I'm losing public order over here, so I probably need a better building. And over here, which reminds me, actually, my next tech is gonna be public order, isn't it? Because I mean. I'm not going to want at that for a really long time. Getting these little techs, like free turns for free replenishment, is, is pretty good even though we, uh, we're not going to use a navy. Probably ever. And movement range. We do eventually want to get those techs. And we do want to get these siege ones. But, um,. Public order, it's all about the public order and tax rate right now. So let's get that. I am greater than mighty Achilles. 
Um, God, I'm kidding me. Right, well. I might actually disband an army. Or rather, yeah. Which faction is this? This is my guy. Ready for battle. We hunger for battle. I I want the Ready money orders, pretty badly. I'm gonna disband these. We hunger for battle. Yeah, wait first I'm gonna merge his calf. Uh what else do we want? Wait, which army? Yeah, we're merging into this army. It's got loads of archers, so no archers. It's got room for free cavalry. So I'll put those in there, and then all of this I'm going to disband which seems a bit crazy but I don't really I mean I've got public order problems but right now I don't really have military problems I don't even have enough money to use my spy which is more cost effective than an army anyway. So yeah, we'll leave that guy. This is my... Um, defenses. Just quickly check. So this is my guy that has plus siege hold out time, but I think it's too late. But we can test it, can't we? Because when it's zero turns left, that's when we are actually going to surrender. And then if it's that, then I'll swap him because I don't want to lose him, because he's my faction. And he's precious to me. This army has full movement and we just want to take out Sargatia but I don't want to lose this town either probably going to wait till they attack one of these cities and then attack them I don't think I need this ballista. I don't know. No, I don't. It's kind of expensive. I'm trying to save money. For a start, I want to buy a new uh, champion, and I want to buy lots of public order buildings, and I want to sort out. I want to. I want to do a lot of things with money, so. Take out Sargatia and then, yep. Slams. Got a raiding army. Just come take care of it. Warden of the North is now nearby.
what we can actually do is uh, force march nearby and then attack. Ready for battle. I think. Any man who drops out is left behind. I think. Nah, I need to be like with the red arrow, arrow pointing towards the guy. So I literally At your command. cannot cannot Ready save this guy from surrendering. So let's uh, let's just disband it. Easy, easy, easiest way to go about this. And then uh, we can also now afford to poison this army. So let's do that. But they're going to take the town and then I'm going to just have to take it back. Which is annoying, but... My... I might even have a rebellion, which is even more annoying. Uh, and I think that gives authority. We'll do... Whatever. This town here would kind of make sense to take next, because then that moves my front here. I can make that front here. So I'm going to go scout it. There's no big armies around that I can see. Um, this army's still staying put really, because this town is uh, not, not a defendable location without an army inside of it. Now I have a little bit of money to play with, so first thing I want to do is remove that, obviously. And uh, I'm going to re-spec. Re-spec, is that the right word? Let's think about public order first. This one's rising. Well, one thing I wanted to do for sure is convert this back to my culture, which actually leaves me with not a lot of money left. I'm gonna get a I'm thinking about getting money making stuff in this province, but then I'm gonna have public order problems. So, let's get one of these because that's money and public order. So, that's an easy decision. But, like, I might tear this down and make something which makes money next time. Yeah. I'll keep that because I, I still need to worry about the border. Right, that's all my moves. All of the moves. Character 11. I'd rather the public order here though. Because it will increase my attacks. So I'll. Uh, buff that next time instead. Popular surrenders. It's a good job I disbanded the army. Let's poison this again. Oh you fail at life. Laying siege to the settlement I don't really fancy fighting this 
even though I might be able to win it, because horse archers aren't the greatest defenders. But I just don't, I'm being lazy and I can't be bothered. Just wanna. But then if I wait, then they're gonna destroy my building. Which I did spend quite a lot of money on. I don't think they can destroy buildings when they're under siege, can they? I'm, I'm gonna. If I, if I can't, if I can't modify buildings while under siege, then the AI shouldn't be able to either. We keep an eye on that. It's the sort of thing that they forget to program for the AI and it breaks. It's broken. But we'll just leave it for now. I bet you there's nothing. No, there's nothing over here. So we just uh, might as well force march, really. I would force march, but this army here is uh, being a nuisance. I don't know. I might still force march. Force march to here. Uh, Warden of the North, he's sieging. Oh wow. Ready for Pew free is chilling. And uh, yeah, this guy is gonna buff public order here. I wanna build two buildings here so I don't get a slam again. I'm gonna make a pit mine, I think. And a let me just have a think about this. So if we go for this, it's more money, but it goes minus public order. I'm gonna get the plus public order uh, building, I think, because I'd like to be able to not have to leave my champion here to keep public order high. Um, so we've got a bit of money left over, not a lot, I think. Maybe, uh, I don't know what I want to do with that money, to be honest. Probably just save it. Save it up. Slave problems. Good job I don't really bother with slaves too much. I think both of these are negative. Cannot risk a slave revolt, I'll go with that. At your Sounds like the safe, safer option. I'm gonna go for the village first. That guy's not in the town. I think he deserves to be poisoned. Um, I'm just gonna wait a turn here. Can't poison while I'm sieging, so let's go have a look north. It's not even really worth poisoning with three units. It is recruiting though. I think I can move this army forwards now. Oh, then have public order problems. Speaking of public order problems, I've got minus public order in pretty much every province right now. Might be worth me tuning this down. Because once I get the public order higher, then I make more income anyway. Uh, so long term, it's better long term. It's just usually like at the beginning of the game, you need all the money you can. But I'm sort of in a position now where I can start making that long term. 
adjustment, I think. Noah's going to rebel anytime soon. I'm going to move this army this way. And that's everyone moved. I just want to level this up with some culture and authority. And then, oh, okay, that's the thing that I wanted to do, is buy a new champion. So who's got the lowest public order? It's actually this, surprisingly. Which is weird, because it's like, had the town for so long. But it is on plus two. This is on negative one. I'm going to recruit it here because it's near the front line as well. Uh, minus upkeep. I'm just going to get line of line of sight. I am than Taxes. Ah, uh, because I lowered it. To increase public order, it should go up again, and I will thinking about getting that. But I also also want to improve public order in other places like here. No, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm not gonna spend every last time. It's always good to have a bit of money in the bank, so I'm gonna save that up and hit and turn. So these guys, just before giving up, have decided to attack. So at least I'm not attacking, but still fighting horse archer armies is never super fun. 